Okay, three things that make great culture. One, sharing everything with your team so they know all of the information in the company. Hiring people based on core values, super important. So you've got to start right from recruiting. If you don't recruit right, you are never going to build a great culture. Being very, very clear on your vision, mission and values. So that your mission is your reason for getting out of bed in the morning. Your vision is your picture of what you want to be when you grow up as a business. Um, and the core values are what guide your behaviours. So how do you attract good staff? And, and for, for Juicy, the big part for us is becoming that employee of choice. And for us, it's about, again, creating a, a culture that, that celebrates success, that people want to come and work for Juicy because they want to be part of the awesome culture and everything that we've developed. So how do you build strong culture? Um, again, empower your people, share, share information, share knowledge, but also really you need to have love and discipline in equal amounts, so very, very important. You can't have all love and no discipline, it doesn't work, you've got to have both, super important. So how are decisions made when there's a disagreement and you know, we've had to learn to take everyone's opinion on board and um, you know, we're now bringing people into our business who we need to help us to grow and develop and so it's very important that we sit there and we respect their decisions because if you don't listen to your staff and you don't understand what it is that they, their opinions are, then there's really no point in having them around and they won't stick around if you don't respect that. So for us it's about being diplomatic. At times we definitely have to sit there and put our foot down and say, you know what, this is what we want to do and, uh, and um, yeah, it definitely doesn't it always come without its challenges. What is your approach to handling people who don't fit the culture? Well, again, if you put culture first, that will happen, that will be a natural progression because if you build a culture based on your core values, and build a business based on your core values and you're hiring and firing based on your core values, then people that don't fit the culture um, will not last. So they'll fall off the back of the boat um, as a natural progression. So together we can change the world if you choose to put culture first. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Is that enough?